First, we'll start with some very important kitchen safety rules. Number one, and most very important of all, always ask a grown-up before you do anything in the kitchen. Next, be sure to read through the whole recipe before you start, so you can make sure you have all the ingredients and all the supplies you need. And be sure to wash your hands with soap and water before you touch the food. When you measure the ingredients, be sure to do it very carefully. Always follow each and every step of the recipe. Wash all fruits and vegetables before you use them. Be careful, because some foods, like meat and chicken and eggs, can have germs on them. Use different knives and cutting boards when you're fixing these. And wash your hands when you're done fixing them. You gotta remember to keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot. That keeps germs from growing. If there's leftover food, cover it and store it in the refrigerator or freezer. Always wear the right clothes, like shoes and an apron. If you have on long sleeves, push them up. Oh, and make sure your hair's out of the way. Never try to put anything in the oven without an adult's help. Hot food in the oven and the stove can cause very painful burns. So we use oven mitts or pot holders to protect our hands. Turn the handles of pots and pans away from you so you don't accidentally knock them over. And make sure those handles aren't over a burner. They can get very hot. And clean up as you go. It's much easier and much safer that way. And now, if everybody's ready, ready, let's wash our hands and get going. Remember, the first thing to do is always ask a grown-up for permission. Now what's stopping? Now what? Now we cover a tray with wax paper. And we set out six cookies, bottom side up. Now we use some ice cream. We left it out a while so it's kind of soft. We add a scoop on top of each cookie, just like this. Then we add another cookie, top side up, on each one, and we press them together. Then we cover the whole thing with more wax paper. And we put them in the freezer until they're good and frozen again. About two hours. Here's some we already made. Now what's all about right now, what? Well, now we eat them! Welcome to the first ever Strawberry Land Cooking Show! Today, we'll be showing you all sorts of recipes, including one of my favorites. And here to start things off is Miss Blueberry Muffin. Whoa, a cooking show with my Strawberry Land friends? This I have to watch. And don't worry, they probably can't see your shoes. Um, thanks. And, um, you can go now, Angel Cake. Today, I'm going to show you how to make ice cream pie. Now the very first thing to do is... The first thing is, ask a grown-up permission before you do anything in the kitchen. That's right, and thank you, Strawberry. Now we begin with... We always begin by washing our hands. That's right, Angel Cake. We always ask a grown-up for permission, and we always wash with soap and water. Here's what you'll need to make the recipe. One 9-ounce pack of chocolate wafer cookies, one stick of butter, two pints of ice cream, and some whipped cream if you like. I know I do. We'll need a medium-sized bowl that can go in a microwave and a rolling pin, some wax paper, a nine-inch pie plate, and a spoon. First off, we turn the oven on and set it to 350 degrees. Then we put the butter in a bowl and put it in the microwave. We heat it up on a very low setting, just till it's nice and melted. You need to lay out a sheet of wax paper and put some of the chocolate cookies on top. Then you cover the cookies with more wax paper and use the rolling pin to crunch them up real good. Keep crunch until you crunch them to crumbles. When the butter's melted, put on a glove, because that bowl could be hot even when you use the lowest setting. Now you pour the crumbs in with the runny butter, so they start to stick together. Stir them. And when it's cool enough, like this bowl here, use your hands to mix the whole thing up. Now put them in the pie plate and squash them flat. That's how you make the crust. Next, it's time to carefully put it in the oven. Now we bake this for 8 minutes at 350 degrees. Now you take it out and let it cool off. Remember the ice cream? I left it out of the freezer so it'd get nice and soft. Now we spread the gushy ice cream in the pie crust. Then we freeze it till it's good and frozen. And that usually takes about 2 hours. 
Here's what I made earlier. Looks pretty good, huh? And if you want, you can put whipped cream on top. Doesn't it look nice? It's Blueberry Muffin's own ice cream pie. <laughs> uh, camera's still running? Angel Cake is on the set! Hello, Strawberry Land! Now it's time to make the best ever recipe, my favorite fudge! Here's all it takes to make the fudgiest fudge you've ever tasted. Some semi-sweet chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, sweetened condensed milk, and a little vanilla. We'll also need an 8x8 inch pan, some wax paper, a medium pot, a wood spoon, measuring cups and spoons, a cutting board, and a knife. First, we line this pan with some wax paper. We add one and a half cups of sweetened condensed milk, one cup of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, and one cup of the milk chocolate chips, and we carefully put this on the stove. Then, we stir and stir until all the chocolate chips are melted. Now we turn off the stove. Add two teaspoons of the vanilla. We stir it in real, real good. We pour it all into the pan and we spread it out flat with a wooden spoon. Now we put it in the refrigerator and let it stay there for four or five hours until it's nice and firm. Here's some I already made. It's good and cold. And now we can take it out of the pan and peel off the wax paper. We set it out on a cutting board and very, very carefully cut it into squares. And that's how you make Angel Cake's all-time most ever favorite fudge. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my very favorite treats, Cookie Pops. We'll need some flour and some baking soda, a little salt, some butter, sugar, an egg, and a bit of vanilla extract. We'll need a baking tray, some foil, two bowls, a sort of medium one, and a bigger one, some measuring cups, and spoons, a mixer, flat wooden sticks like these, a spatula, and one wire cooling rack. For starters, we'll get the oven warmed up to 350 degrees. Then we gotta line this tray with our foil. We measure out two and a half cups of flour and add it to the medium-sized bowl. Then we measure one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and add that, and then half of a tiny teaspoon of salt. Then we gotta put these two sticks of butter, nice and soft, into this bigger bowl. We measure one and a half cups of sugar and add that and mix it up good. We gotta let it mix till it's kinda like a cream. Now we crack open one egg and add that in. Now mix that up too. Then we add, then we add... Is something wrong, Angel Cake? No, no, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Just remember, don't slouch. Thank you, Angel Cake. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. We add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then we take the first bowl with the flour mixture and pour it all into the other, slowly. We'll turn the mixture on medium and let it go for about five minutes until all those ingredients are mixed together. When it's all done, we can turn off the mixer. Next, we gotta lay out these wooden sticks, all 12 of them. And we drop one heaping tablespoon of dough on each stick and make sure it covers the whole top of the stick, okay? And now we bake it for 15 minutes. Here's some I already cooked. We just put them on this wire rack and let them cool off. And that's all there is to it. Oh! <clears throat> yeah. Um, hi, my name's Orange Blossom, and this is the Strawberry Land Cooking Show. Um, all my friends are gone, so I guess it's just me. <laughs> I guess, um, maybe I could fix the recipes again, huh? Everything's a kind of mess right now. I wish Strawberry and the others were here. They'd know what to do. Aww. But hey, like Ginger Snap always says, the show must go on. Let's see now. I don't know if there's enough ingredients left to make anything. Perhaps you could make some of those scrumptious cupcake cones. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, I need sugar, and I don't think there's any left. <gasps> hey, thanks. Sugar, just what we needed. And you're gonna need some flour too, right? Thanks, Blueberry. And I bet you'll need baking soda. Angel cake, 
Yep, that's right, baking soda. Let's get on with the show. Some butter? Yep, gotta have butter, strawberry. Vanilla? Uh-huh, need vanilla too. And two eggs? We'll sure need those. <laughs> and last of all, Becky needs some milk, huh? And ice cream cones from the store. And that's it. Orange Blossom, we're awful sorry for acting the way we acted. Yeah, we all wanted to be the star. We all wanted to run the show. But now we're back and we want to help. So just tell us what to do. Well, we got to get a sifter, a big bowl and a little bowl, measuring cups and spoons, a mixer, spatula, a muffin tray, store-bought ice cream cones, and a wire rack. First, we'll need to turn the oven on to 350 degrees. Then, we carefully measure one and a half cups of flour and sift it into a small bowl. We put one stick of softened butter in the bigger bowl and we measure out a half a cup of sugar, then we add that to the butter. We add two teaspoons of vanilla, then mix it all together until it's smooth and soft and creamy. We break two eggs and add them. We mix this up on medium speed till it's all light and fluffy. Then we add half a cup of milk while it's still mixing away. We add the flour and stuff we made before and mix that in. Now we have our cake batter. We pour it in the ice cream cones, about two thirds full. Then we very carefully put it in the oven and we let it bake for 10 to 15 minutes. We test with the toothpick to see if it's done. If no batter sticks to the toothpick, it's ready. When they're cool, you can add frosting if you want. I'm making mine in a swirl. I'm making mine look just like ice cream. Here you go, honey pie. <laughs> mm. They're very tasty, Orange Blossom. They're not hard to make. Just takes all the right ingredients. Making treats is sort of like making friends. Take some sugar and spice, and everything nice, and taste the way that it blends. Measure in some love and spoonful, stir them in a bowl. One part patience, two parts kindness, and you'll make the perfect whole. The right ingredients, the right ingredients. If you've got them, you'll make friends with super speedy. The right ingredients. to learn 